Yo, 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 home skillets, what is up? My home skillets, it is a pleasure to see all of you guys again. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. You have become one of my frying pans. It, it's, it's your fate now, just deal with it. Anyway, so today we're going to be playing a game. We're doing another Let's Play, woohoo. So today we're gonna be playing a game. It's called Hatoful Boyfriend. It's a game where you fall in love with birds. So, I actually have played this game before. I played it a few years ago, so it has been quite a while and I honestly don't remember a lot. I just remember that there's a best friend bird and you have to give them food and eagles can kill you, I think. I've gotten one ending and I died, so we'll see if I'm about to get the same ending again or if it's gonna be a new one and I'm gonna find love, unlike my real life where I'm single. Well, if I can't find love in real life, why don't I find it here with birds, virtual birds. This is going to be so much fun. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to St. Pigeon Nation. Please enter your name. All right. Well, what are we going to go with? Let's go with Key Archer. Oh, dilemma. All right. We're just going to go with Key. Key. <laughs> oh, perfect. Archer. There we go. <laughs> is Key Archer okay? Yes, yes it is. St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for, the, for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. <laughs> it's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Who is this? Hi, Ryota. You're a pigeon! I forgot how real they looked. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Key. Overslept? <laughs> you know it. Oh, he's cute! This rock dove is... Oh, he's a dove. I thought he was a pigeon. My bad. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Aww. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Oh. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that. Wait. I forgot I was homeless. Wow, I totally forgot I was homeless. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. <laughs> Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. <laughs> and so Ryota pulled me along to the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Ooh, I forgot I was homeless. Hot the full boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. It's like America for birds. Great first term. I think we're in two three. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Oh my gosh, again? Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around the, at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Kazuaki. Good morning, every birdie! 
I love puns, but even that's reaching it. Oh. Er, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. What other things? <laughs> should I be concerned? I think I should be concerned. Oh no. What other things? I forgot. I don't remember. What are your other things? <laughs> Z. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, he specializes in sleeping. Okay. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? Kazuaki Nanaki. See, I expected white hair, not blonde. I forgot how they all looked, so I'm just like, oh. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math, math professor. I had heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. <laughs> Bird forms. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Actually, no, it's like 50 something degrees outside. So it's actually kind of cold. Sorry. <laughs> Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Do we? Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Oh, shit. Wow, this music. I wonder if this guy's rich. <laughs> he looks like he is stuck up. <laughs> Sakuya, what is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, then why are you here? If you don't want to be here, then why are you here? Oh well, I guess that's that. <laughs> hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Shirogane la belle Sakuya. Oh, he looks like a purse. It seems this fan tale is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Oh, I'm so cute. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. Oh, why? Why? Uh, I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Uh oh. Am I being stalked by a bird? Oh, hi. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something for me? He looked away. Not really. I'm 
pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything from you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, Hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Archer Key. <laughs> I'm Archer Key, a sophomore. What about you? You're... Takeki. Fujishiro. Takeki. Freshman. Oh, he's cute. Fujishiro Nekeki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. You said that already. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. He looks kind of sad. <laughs> Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Yeah, I want to date them all, apparently. <laughs> and yet I want to date them. Depression is attractive. <laughs> now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Oh, crap. You should have been... Oh, wait. <clears throat> you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Who's Yuya? Oh. Wait. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? Yeah, they're siblings. I forgot about that. Oh, wait. I can say this again. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is it... What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait. Oh, wait. Hey, wait just a... And he's gone. I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop. But I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. And it's back to the happy music? Okay. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I'm. Oh my gosh! Can I stop stuttering? Wow! <laughs> I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> When fake stuttering turns into real stuttering. <laughs> no sweat. Oh, I tried to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. No. And he has glasses. Okay, he's. I like him. He's attractive. Can we date? I'll date this bird. 
This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. You're key, right? H how did you? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. Why did they let me in this school then? A single poppy in a field of rye. Aww. I hope that my British accent isn't offending anybody. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm trying to be British. I'm just doing a proper accent. No, okay, sorry. Did you say you were a friend of Sokuya's? I'm so sorry. That's going to be his accent though. A horrible British accent. Just deal with it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm cringeworthy. Oh no, I'm a cringe. I'm not trying to make it offensive. I'm just trying to be a part that I'm playing. And it's coming out not right. It's just coming out like this. So this is how we're going to do this for this baby here. This bird's accent, and I hope that that's not too offensive for you. And I'm sorry if it doesn't sound that great, but this is my cringe. This is how I make you cringe. I do want to go to England one day, and I hope that you won't all be offended by me because of this video. I'm such a cringe. Oh, I'm a cringe fest! I apologize. But this is this bird's accent, and we are going to deal with it. As a family of home skillets, we will come together for this bird's accent to shine. I love you all. Now back to the game. Did you say you were a friend of Sokuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that a stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. That's the perfect thing to say to his family! Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. A, the genuine article, in the flesh. He is? Oh, well dang, <laughs> he is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Oh, he's French? Oh, shh. Dude's French. I've been over here giving him an English accent. A bad English accent, for that matter. Because I'm not trying my best to do an English accent. If I was trying hard, it would probably sound better. But I'm not trying hard. I'm just trying to give this guy a voice, and instead... He's not even English. He's freaking French. I don't know how to do a French accent. You know what? You know what? For a Hatoful Boyfriend Part 2, he will have a French accent. But for this video, right here, today, he is going to be having an English accent. A bad English accent. And it's going to sound like this because I'm not trying very hard to do a good one. I'm just trying to do an accent for the proper British, proper French kid, bird. Okay, you know what? None of these people should be having any accent. You know why? Because they birds. They birds. They shouldn't be having an accent. They should be grateful that I'm even giving them one. Okay? Okay. Freaking birds. Dumbass birds thinking that I des that they deserve to be speaking. They deserve nothing. They don't deserve to be speaking. Unless they want to date me. Do they want to date me? I don't know. They should want to date me. I'm a wonderful person. But no, nobody in real life wants to date me while we're birds. 
He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. <laughs> oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> Adieu to you too, Yuya. Oh, he really is a noble bird. <laughs> I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Great. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. Poor bird. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. No birdies here. This is just going to be my dialogue, isn't it? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter gatherer instincts feel no presence. I forgot I was homeless. Don't I live in a cave? I think I live in a cave. I forget. There's no birdie here. Ryota? No reply. Weird! Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> Let's take some! <laughs> can, we, can we take some? Why don't we take some? This is going to be fine. Ethylpar, Trifit, Lucio, Benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Who said that? Oh. Oh, he thick. He thick. He very thick. D -d 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 doctor? <laughs> d -d 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 -duel! Oh, I thought this was Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies for a second. It is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. Never mind. Okay. I love Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, but why is it in this game? Shoo! Oh, let's see. My thick boy deserves a good accent. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Even I hate that, but that we're gonna go with it. No, thank you! Oh! Why is he a thick bird? He look hot. This partridge is This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He is rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psittacosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? What accent did I give him? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. That's not his accent. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? That's not his accent either. I forget what I did. Wow. Okay, whatever. We're going with it. Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone! Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Oh no, he hates me. S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now! <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Hey, they were playing Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. It couldn't have been that evil. Leota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with a track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. That sounds so cute. 
I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cool, cool. <laughs> cool, cool. This is no pudding for a man. Cool. Uncle San rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around with us on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. <laughs> I love his character design. Oh my gosh. This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but he's supposedly a fantail pigeon. I think. I love him. Either way, he's hyper. He's awesome! Cool! Oko-san has suffered the deception most vile! Oh, that shit betrayal! Betrayal? Cool! Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members! Cool! But this is no pudding! Ousted! Scorned! Betrayed! Dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most! It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like a normal store-bought pudding. Oh gosh. What's wrong with it? Cool! Cool! Spare the jests, young lady! Okosan used the wing attack! It's super effective! Cool! <laughs> They'll rule the day they crossed Oko-san. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will! Cool! <laughs> Oko-san must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell! And he's gone. Oh my gosh, that actually kind of hurt. I love him though. Oh my gosh, I love Oko-san. Can we be friends? Can I date him? He's like the one true bird and I love him. He's like my favorite right now. <laughs> He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? It's motivation. If you exercise and run enough, you can have good food too. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. Okay. Or, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Oko-san has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shirogane? A foolish question. I already held a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism ho! Why don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your, of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Track team? Let's join the track team. Clearly, your girl needs some exercise. Because, you know, she's thick too. So, we gon' be with Okosan and be on the track team. And have some fun. I'm not going with that boy, even though his voice is quite fun to do. Let's join the track team. That's everyone, isn't it? Apparently. Have fun! Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend math class, gym class, or music class. Oh, I want to join music class so badly. I'm on the track team though. I should go gym class, right? Can I do music class? Oh man, I really want to do music class. Oh no. I want to go music class so badly.
I'm a musician. I have to go to music class. But I'm on the track team. I should go to gym class. I'm gonna go to gym class reluctantly because I really, really, really want to go to music class. But I have to go to gym. Maybe if I go to gym, I'll see Okosa! And we'll have fun. Gym. Oh, I hate it. I had to sit out the wing training. Oh, I had to sit out the wing training. But it was fun anyway. Maybe someday I'll be able to fly too. Man, this is not a dream. Key leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Oh, cool. I need to go sign up for track. That did nothing. I could have gone to music class. I want to join the team, but I wonder if Okosan's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. Cool. A key appears. Is this a challenge then? Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. Not really. I went to join the team. Do you know where the captain is? Cool. He stands before you! Okosan is the captain, and the faster bird the world has ever known. Has never known. I never knew. Oh, well, here, my forms. Thank you. Cool! Adopt never refuses a challenge. Commence the entrance examination. There's an exam? Cool! Of course, Jack is a daisy chain making me see. Go! Cool. Okosan will be your opponent in the in noble combat, sprint or long distance. Uh. Yeah, let's go with sprint. I like this music. Sprint. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> A sprint barely lasts long enough to get started. How do? I'm sorry. Cool, cool! On your mark, get set! Go! <laughs> I love doing his voice. How is he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. So not fair. Pant, pant! Ah. Go! You're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team! Go! That's all, Fox! And so I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? I knew it! I lived in a cave! I forgot. Oh. <laughs> I love living in a cave. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? San! It's like the Oko-san. I wonder where Oko-san went. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Go, go! It's not here! The pudding is not here! Ah. It's missing? Did you bring it to eat for lunch? Go! Oh! Okosan believed that the, that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes! Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Go! I just love doing that. Go! Okosan will now search elsewhere for the pudding. And he's gone. What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? Elective. Let's go to gym again. Simply because I want to do better in the track team. So, we're going to go to gym and get my vitality up to 805. It's too hot. I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. Go! It's it's race hydration time. Okosan wants to go swimming. Cool. I love doing Okosan's voice. I just love doing that. Go! Go! <laughs> go! <laughs> so much fun to do. Oh. The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? Go! I see cool. I just go cool. 
Ryota is doing the three legged race, Oko-san's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first eight tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. I'm gonna go with Oko-san. Let's do Oko-san. Come on. Go! Go! Today's the sports festival. Go! You're running the marathon too, Ki? <laughs> yep, someone needs to act as a female representative. Good luck, Okosa. Cool, cool. Never worry, never fear. Okosa never brings up the rear. Zip does the wind as usual. I think he came in first, but I can't see from here. I'd better do my best too. Yes. The first barrier for all students who make it this far. The midterm exam. Oh, great. Oh, great. You have to remind me about my actual school life, seriously. We're getting them back today. Ah, I don't think I did too well. Archer! Uh-oh. Yes! Hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Not too... Nope, sorry. You did badly. Well... I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. Excuse me for wanting to go! <laughs> I'd better hurry back to class. Oh, hello, every bird. Huh? There is a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. What happened, Ryota? Sakuya was making fun of Oko-san. Not Oko-san! He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding and said he was ashamed to be in the same class. <gasps> that is terrible. That's awful. That's terrible. I mean, Oko-san is a nutcase, and I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Either way, Oko-san kind of went for the jugular, and you tried to pull them apart, and Oko-san used wing attack on you? Yep, you're our only hope now, Ki. <laughs> and then Ryota died. Go, go! Oko-san will not allow Pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take back my word? I shall not. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Go! Oko-san is not a mongrel. The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. Side with Oko-san! Side with my ku cool baby! Sakuya, that wasn't very nice. Just because you don't know what Oko-san is talking about doesn't mean you can start slurring him. You are siding with this mongrel rebel? Aren't you supposed to be a human? Go! Go! Oko-san is resolved! Oko-san will end this now! He drops low and prepares to strike with all his might. Go! Kick a drill beak! <laughs> I love Uncle San so much! Oh! <laughs> Uncle San crashes into Sakuya with the spinning body slam. Sakuya goes flying out into the hallway, bouncing helplessly. That must have hurt. Oko-san is a match for any aristocrat. Go, go! Oko-san is a match for the mighty giants themselves. He pops up his chest and swags his way out of the classroom like a real gangsta pigeon. Yeah, he is. That's my boy. My boy is a gangsta pigeon. Cool power. Go, Oko-san. Yes, that is my boy. He is a gangsta pigeon, and you know it, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I love Oko-san. Mm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the store, infirmary, or cafeteria. Oko-san likes pudding. Let's go to the cafeteria. Oh, this is wrong! A fake! A vicious lie! Yes. A familiar voice indeed. Go! This is not pudding! 
I know. You said. So come on, let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. San saw the pudding here and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but ow! Cut it out, Uncle San! Go! Release me at once! My rage voltage is rising! <laughs> Help me, Ki! Let him go! Don't you realize he's a fantail? <laughs> go! Silence, you fool boy! Once freed, Uncle San rampages for a while and then comes over with a satisfied expression. Okasan loves you, gentle maiden, but fake pudding cannot be forgiven. Very well. San in the forest and me in Tatara village. Our love pure. Carry me away on Yaku. I have no idea what I just said. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Oh, you're just gonna read them? Okay. Screw privacy, apparently. What should I wish for? I wish to become a famous artist whose work is known the world over. Oh, hello. Is that you, Archer? Mr. Nanaki! You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know? I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Uh, sure. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very rustic, Archer. Thanks, it's a cave. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. I love my cave. And so he left, a somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Today is swim class. All these damp, tight, clinging feathers are making my heart race. Go, go! Ki is a human! Can you still swim? I can. Yep! Go! Okosan challenges you to a race then! Okosan has never swum against a hominoid. A hominy! You're, so you're fast in the water as well as on land? Go, go! Naturally! Okosan is the fastest in all things. Alright then, let's go. Get set, go! Okosan is running against the top of the water with incredible speed before the signal has stopped ringing in my ears. Oh wow. Uh. Th that's not swimming! Go, go, go! Okosan is victorious! You are slow, Ki! And so I learned that I would need to redefine my very concept of swimming before helping to defeat Okosan. Today is the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short. But either way, it's summer now. I should help clean up the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club! Munch, munch, munch! Oko-san looks excited. <gasps> Did he get pudding? Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans! Munch, munch. They're good! It looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Let's join in! Those look pretty good! I'm a hunter-gatherer, so I'm probably starving, you know. Munch munch! Yum! And so we devour two months worth of dietary supplements in one day! Well... It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Ah, that was a good run. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm, I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stopping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instincts! The sun is setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you! Stop. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing resting on a motor scooter. 
because birds totally know how to ride those. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon Nation, so I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two-hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. I like the cut of your jeep. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures out her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Th thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Toshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. Once One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get th there by dawn? Carve it into your soul, kid. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law, too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at Azami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Alright. Well. Okay, how long have I been recording for? An hour and 17 minutes? Oh, Oof, I forgot how long this game actually was. So, uh, we're gonna call it quits, and I'm gonna split this up into two videos. Uh, apparently I wound up going for Oko-san, so... Oko-san will hopefully be my future BF. I just love going, cool. It's just so much fun to do that. Cool. It's fun. So, yeah. We're gonna call this video quits. I love you guys so much. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I really, really hope that you come join me for part two. I hope that you like this channel. And if you did, push that subscribe button. I could use it. So it'll really help me out. And I would really love to have you join my home skillets. Hey, it's going to be really fun. Become a frying pan, guys, please. Be a frying pan. <laughs> All right, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for part two. It's going to be awesome. I love you guys so much. Bye. Ah, bye. <laughs> oh, this was fun. I love this game. This game is awesome. Bye. <laughs> bye.